Since September 2022, Member of Children's Parliament from across Scotland have been exploring children's rights and artificial intelligence with the Alan Turing Institute. We have been learning about AI and thinking about what needs to happen for AI to play a role in keeping all children healthy, happy and safe. There have been over 100 children from across Scotland involved from Glasgow to Shetland, Edinburgh to Stirling. One class from each school has formed the AI team. They've been doing a mission each month. There has also been a team of 13 investigators, three or four from each school, who have been meeting online with Children's Parliament and the Alan Turing Institute to complete investigations and talk about the ideas from the other children. This is the start of a really exciting project. It is the first time children have been involved with shaping the future of AI in Scotland. We investigate where AI is used in our daily lives and our community. We had the map when we pinpointed the four and the shopping centre because they can use AI in with the shopping we yes. the group out of them we print we pinpointed all of our houses, our mm -hmm. school yeah. and a lot of McDonald's. We make puppets. Um, and we like made a little stop motion animation with them. And the animations uh, are kind of like AI examples. It can be in any device which involves like Siri's an AI assistant and Google and Alexa. Yeah. On your on YouTube, it'll come up with recommendations because you've watched something, so it's thinking, okay, if you like that, then you'll like this, probably. And then you actually know what it's recommending you stuff yeah. and what's showing you stuff because you could just be thinking it's someone that's just watching you do stuff, but instead it's an AI yeah. that's. Control on it. We learned about how AI uses the data to make decisions by imagining we were an AI system. We did research on AI and then planned out to go and like ask classes or find out research on what kids would like in their playground. Well, we were collecting the information, the da data, and processing it like an AI would process it. So we couldn't use our human intelligence. We had to use what we'd been given. You could have all things like that, it all put all a reading area and like a pitch or something, and then ask people which would you prefer. Has anybody not vote yet? Okay, uh, what's your favourite area? The problems were the objects being too high for younger kids or weren't fun for other kids or kids didn't want to play with it. I think there it should have been people to process that data and get the best things in, then to tell the AI what to do with that. We could use it until we had to make decisions ourselves that would make it usable. Artificial intelligence uh, learns from the humans, like humans put their knowledge into it and makes it faster. And also does they have an imagination. Humans, they have an imagination, they, are, they need to figure things out, they can get confused. AI isn't a human so it doesn't have feelings and it doesn't understand things that other people can feel. We explored how AI can affect our children's human rights and investigated fairness and 
biased in AI. We may news reports about all about the different ways AI is used in education, health, entertainment in our communities. We thought about the pros and cons of different ways AI is used, from gaming to facial recognition, assistive readers to health apps. We worked as a team and all had different roles as presenters, journalists and editors. We got to interview our expert friends from the Alan Turing Institute. How do you think biased data affects the AI system? Bias can be a big problem in AI systems. It really depends on the information that an AI system is trained on. How can you trust AI? That's a really tricky question. Um, I'm not sure if it's if we can really trust AI, but we can tr we can hopefully trust the organisations or the companies that are developing and using AI. Uh, the technology itself only really does what it's programmed to do. AI doesn't do everything right or wrong. wrong. Right. And then, but also AI shouldn't be used for, if we do get that high tech, that it shouldn't be used for controlling things and choosing and choosing people's actions. Well, it's helpful for learning because a lot of the time at home, I Google stuff and it just predicts what I'm trying to say. If AI was teaching most of the people in schools and like all that, then they would naturally get much opportunity to like hear an actual person saying it. It would be just like a robot saying all their subjects all the time. And it would probably be a bit frustrating because the robots know everything and you and some and the teachers learn new things through the children. I've, I've started to worry that um, AI might take over jobs that normal humans would usually do and it would, um, so they, and they would lose their job and they would, like, would be a pickle for them to try to get a new one. I think it should not be used for, like, the police, military, any fighting kind of thing. learning about how it could treat people well, in the lot, future and how it could improve our future yes. in ways that yeah. it makes sure that mm. we are safe and healthy and that we healthy. have yes. healthy and, and that we have support. Yeah, yeah. privacy. So um comic strips on what we do is we're gonna write it's gonna be like a comic about yeah. AI and about What's get, what might happen in the future. It's mm -hmm. like they're just making it up, thinking about what might happen in the future. No, and, no, then, what and then um, in the future, well, I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Uh, making sure that children are safe online, like telling them, oh, don't go onto this website, um, you can get a virus on it, or don't do this, you can get hurt. You can go in the ocean and pick up trash, and like, as our thing we were doing on our Chromebox, it knows not to pick up any fish or get them in, but there's like massive things that are helping the planet so much, like taking all the trash out of the ocean. Because people have to spread the word about yeah. AI. Because everyone has the right to fairness and mm. the same, and has and has, and has like yeah has their the right to their choice and opinion yeah. on how they can use it. Mm. And children would make up ideas, and they could be really helpful. Yeah, yeah. And when they're older, then they'd be able to like work for AI yeah. to let other children know about AI.